Hello everyone, this is XX Dragon Planet MXX here with another Roblox tutorial. Today, I'll be showing you how to create your own shirt on Roblox. Now, before we get started, I would just like to um, tell everyone that this is a Builders Club only feature, so you would have to pay for it unless you are in the non Builders Club uh, shirt creators group in which you can create your shirt there. But since I'm Builders Club, I'll just go with this. So, before we begin, um, you're going to need paint.net. It's a really good site. Um, you can use it for getting that transparency sort of look whenever somebody wears your clothing so that they can choose the skin color for their arms or neck or wherever you want it to show. So I'll just be doing a simple shirt, but you guys will get the hang of it really fast. So really... I'll just choose a random color, let's see, um, we're going with magenta, sort of magenta-ish. So what you have to do is you're going to have to, uh, no I don't like magenta, because dark, mm. sure, whatever the color, no, that's ugly, well, let's go with this color. So orange, um, dark, no, ugly. okay, there we just go with, um, uh, green. Sorry, it's hard to choose. Alright, so we got your color. So, what you're going to want to do is, I'm just going to fill up all these little squares. I've already cut them out so that they are transparent. Now, I'm just going to fill them all in. And we're going to zoom in a bit. Oh, where's the zoom? It's up here. So, we're going to zoom in a bit. Let me just move these out of the way. You guys won't need to see them that much, but I'll let you know. So, um, first things, if you want to make a shirt arms transparent or something like that, what you're going to have to do is you're going to have to take this tool right here, the select tool, and what you're going to want to do is you're going to make a rectangle around all the area that you want the arms cut, and you're going to want to cut that. So crit X, there. So there's my cut. So all under this part of the shirt, their arms will be transparent. So now that we've got the transparency issue and we got color, now what we're going to want to do, I'm not going to be adding any detail to this one, but I will do some shading just to let you guys um, know what this is, how to do it. So first of all, we got our background number one. So what we're going to want to do is we're going to add a new layer right there. So we got our new layer. So we're going to go to this new layer and make sure you selected it. And what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to make rectangle select over the area that you want to be colored and then we're going to pull up the colors again we're going to go into more now I've already saved this but if you don't know how to do it I'll show you those who don't know how to do this so our secondary color has to be white and its opacity has to be absolute zero oh I, wrong one see even I mess up so we're going to go zero then we're going to take our black to give it a thick coloring and we're gonna do this so we're gonna just move that off to the side again and we're gonna take the gradient tool we're gonna use just the linear and then we're just gonna sweep it across and give it a nice shaded look and there we go beautiful so once that's done you're gonna want to select on to the next one and you're gonna want to do this all the way around so I will just bring this back in like two seconds after I'm done them all. So I'll be right back, guys. And we're back. So once you've got your shirt completely shaded in, now what you're going to want to do is you can either choose at this part. If you want a different color, you can now go back and change it with the paint bucket. I also suggest adding all your shirt decals, such as like, you know, little symbols or logos before shading. So now it just depends if you want to make multiple copies of this shirt shade. Um, if you don't want it to be that color, or you want to make this color, then make another color. You can just simply go in, save as, I don't know, we can just save it as test, save. Alright, so that's saved now, so now I can go here and I can merge layer down. Now this has become one shirt 
and now I can save it again save as neon green shirt and remember always to change this to your PNG so it saves automatically so we're gonna save here save neon green shirt yes alright so that's all saved now I'll be right back just give me a couple seconds and we're back so we're gonna go in to our shirts in our character and we're gonna go create our own and we're gonna go, go right here and we're gonna click choose file and we're gonna go down to where we put the neon green shirt here it is we're gonna select that okay so once we think we're ready we upload it give it a second to upload and there we go it has been created I will leave the link in the description for the shirt uh, template and um, I should just show you what the shirt looks like in the game so I'll be right back and here we are we've got our character all dressed for success in his new clothing you can also sell this to other people if you wanted to but yeah pretty simple to make once you know um, so yeah the only reason that the arms are white is because my arms are actually white. But you don't have to worry about that once you change your colors. So, as always, this is XX Dragon Planet of XX. Signing out. Peace out, guys. Bye.